Hi there. So today we have two newly launched smartwatches from Crossbeat, the Ignite Spectre and the Big Brother Ignite Spectre Plus. Now before we hop into the differences, you got to know what Crossbeat has in store for you. Both these watches comes with everyone's favorite AMOLED display with 650 nits of peak brightness. Then we also get Bluetooth phone calling feature on both, all the regular health monitoring sensors, SPO2 sensor, heart rate sensor, sleep tracking. Then we also get IP68 rating and 15 days of battery life. Now both these watches have the exact same specs, exact same design, exact same display and exact same features. But only the plus variant, you can save songs on the watch and you can also connect TWS earphones and listen to music using the watch wirelessly. I'm so excited to check these out. So let's quickly unbox both of them and give it a closer look so you can decide which one of these is better for you. Let's begin. So here are the retail packagings of the Crossbeat Ignite Spectre. The one on the left is Spectre, the one on the right is the Spectre Plus. AMOLED written on bold on both these boxes. Towards the back you can see some of its key features and specifications. The Spectre has an MRP of 9999 while the Spectre Plus is 11999. Alright, let's quickly open it up. So we'll start with the Spectre, lovely box packaging, starting with the paperwork, hello namaste, namaste ji, protect your smartwatch for free, all you need to do is scan this QR code and fill this form to claim your free screen card. And then you have the quick start guide. Then we have the Ignite Spectre watch itself, there's a Pogo pin charging cable that attaches and aligns magnetically as you bring it closer. And finally a detailed user manual. Now let's check out the Ignite Spectre Plus. However, I believe that the contents will be exactly the same. Exactly same paperwork, the Crossbeat Ignite Spectre Plus smartwatch itself, the Pogo pin charging cable, and finally the Spectre Plus user manual. So let's have a closer look at the watches. The one on the left is Spectre, the one on the right is Spectre Plus. Now physically, you can't tell them apart from each other. They're exactly the same. Same weight, same build, same straps, same back, exactly the same. Now what we'll do, we'll have a closer look at just one so you'll get a better idea. So you get a square dial with a metal frame. Yes, that's a metal frame and it comes with this nice matte texture that doesn't attract any fingerprints or smudges. On the other side, you can spot there's a single button and a microphone which is gonna assist you for the voice assistant and phone calls. Then you get nice soft silicon straps with a buckle design and you have the crossbeat branding as well. Very nice quality straps, very soft. Then moving towards the back, it's made of plastic and it houses the heart rate sensor, SPO2 sensor and the charging terminals here. Here you can even spot the speaker which is going to assist you for phone calls. Now if you look closely, these are 20mm bands that can be replaced with other colors by simply pulling this hook mechanism. So overall I can say that the build quality of these watches are top notch, really nice square dials with metal frames and nice comfortable straps. So the Ignite Spectre and the Spectre Plus both watches come with IP68 rating. So it's safe to wear at the gym, for a run or even in the rain. However, it's not recommended to wear while you swim. I think if it had 5 ATM water resistance rating, it would have been just perfect. Anyway, coming to the display. Now we get a 1.78 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 368 by 448 pixels. Now that's one super crisp and vibrant display. Check that out. The color reproduction, the clarity of the text is really, really impressive. Check that out. Also the best part of AMOLED displays apart from colors is the super deep blacks. Looks just so good. Now special mention to the interface on the Spectra series. It's really, really smooth and extremely well optimized. Gone are the days where Crossbeat OS was so laggy and slow, but right now it's not only responsive, it's really really smooth and works so well. Check that out. Wow. So let's have a quick look at the interface when you swipe from up. Quick toggles, this is the Bluetooth settings for phone calls, vibration, this is from where you can adjust the brightness and let me tell you, this watch gets really bright. 650 nits of peak brightness, which means when you use this outdoors, even under direct sunlight, the display is really really clear. Then you have the torch, where the display can be turned into a torch, turn it on and off. Then you have the movie mode, where it turns off the vibration and turns down the brightness. Then you have the weather, in settings, you have the display, 
auto sleep, menu view, brightness levels, watch face. If you come to watch face, there are a couple of watch faces that come pre-installed, some analog, some digital, depending on what you like. I personally really like this one. Looks so cool. Also, you can get a quick look at the bezels. The bezels are not very thin, but they're not thick either. And the best part is they're equal on all the four sides, giving it a very clean look. Now swipe from down to access notifications and missed call alerts. Swipe right to access the widgets and you can see the step widgets is animated. Check that out. Animated widgets. Looks really cool. Heart rate, sleep tracking, blood pressure monitoring, SPO2, weather, stopwatch, calculator and you can even add components. So if you come to the plus sign, you can actually add or remove widgets. Like for example, if you want to make receive call widget, you can put this and that is also added to the list really really cool coming back to the home page if you swipe right you can access the menu you have the step tracking your phone call we'll come to that in just a moment heart rate tracking sleep tracking spo2 blood pressure monitor training exercise records breathing app weather app shutter music player alarm stopwatch timer period tracking for women calculator flashlight and qr code for the app and settings so the best part of the interface is not only is the display good looking, of course it's an AMOLED display and not only is it bright enough, but the interface is so really well optimized. It's a really nice experience. Check that out. Now just to give you a quick look, the interface on both the watches are exactly the same. The same smoothness, the same interface, the same user experience, everything is absolutely identical. So let's quickly check out phone calling. We go into the menu, go to the phone calling app. You can go to recent call, dial pad or contacts. We'll go to dial pad and we'll just randomly dial a number. Okay, let's go. So now the audio hearing is actually from the speaker on the watch. It's so clear and loud. You can end the call. You can control the volume from here. Check this out. And you can even send this call directly to the phone by pressing this button. Very, very handy. Similarly, you can also answer incoming calls on the watch. You can see the time, you can see the caller's name, you can have an option to reject the call, answer the call or silent the ringer. Now when we answer the call, you have an option to mute the mic on the watch, you can send the call to the phone and you can even control the volume directly from here. Check this out. And you can end the call also directly from your watch without even touching your phone. The phone call quality was quite good, especially indoors. The audio was loud and very clear. The opposite person also didn't complain of any disturbance or echo. Now, outdoors though, I used it very briefly. It did collect a lot of ambient sound. So I'd say stick to quick short calls when outdoors. Coming to the music part. So yes, you can firstly control the music that's already playing on your phone. You can change tracks, you can pause play, you can control the volume. All that can be done directly from your watch. But the best part is that you can actually even save music on the watch itself. So to transfer songs, connect the charging cable to the watch and the USB side to the laptop. It will recognize as a USB drive. Then simply open the folder and drag the MP3 songs to the drive. This should take a couple of seconds depending on the file size. Then finally, make sure you eject the drive safely. Then you come to the music player, click on these three dots and make sure local music is selected. Once here, you will actually see the songs that you've just copied on your watch. And there you go. The music is actually playing on the watch speaker. And you can control the volume from here. You can change the track from here. And it's actually so clear. You can actually even listen to music on the watch speaker. Now for my favorite part, you can actually pair your Bluetooth earphones as well. Come to this third option Bluetooth and you take your earphones, put them in pairing mode and there you go, you can see noise flare, click and there you go, it's connected. Wow, this was so convenient. Listen to your favorite music from your watch with Bluetooth earphones. So technically you won't be needing your phone with you if you're going to the gym or for a run as music is right on your watch now. Talking about storage, it comes with 502 MB of storage, which is enough to save about 120 to 150 MP3 songs. And I think that's going to be all that you need. Also remember, this offline music feature with TWS connectivity is only reserved for the Spectra Plus variant. 
on the Ignite Spectre, the regular variant, you can only control the music that's playing on your phone. Coming to health monitoring, the watch comes with a heart rate sensor. Let's test that out. And there you go, we get 76, 75 beats per minute. Let's check out the SpO2. And there you go, we get 98%. Then we also get blood pressure monitoring. Let's test that as well. And there you go, 117 by 73. Now we say this for all smartwatches. This is not a medical equipment. So use all the readings just for your reference and not for medical purposes. So the watch comes in 27 workout modes. Let's go into the training options and check it out. There's walking, there's running, there's cycling, skipping, badminton, basketball, football, climbing, tennis, rugby, golf, yoga, fitness tracking, dance, baseball, elliptical training, indoor cycling, free cycling, yoga, skiing, oh my god, dumbbells, sit-ups, on foot, indoor walking, indoor running. Oh wow, that's a huge collection. That's, I think, all that anyone would need. Now, once you start your workout, you can see a small animation here of a person walking. You can see the time, you can see the steps, kilometers, calories burnt, beats per minute. You can see how light walking or how extreme you're doing your workout. And here you can pause or stop your workout. Coming to the battery. Well, both these smartwatches come with a 300 mAh battery and Crossbeat claims it will last for 15 days with typical use. Frankly, battery life will always vary for everyone. It completely depends on how you're going to use the watch. There's brightness levels, there's screen on time, there's notifications, and the biggest battery drainer is phone calling. If you aren't making a lot of calls, then you should get about 10 days easily with this. But if you're going to use this a lot for phone calls, then three to four days at best. Let's have a look at the Dafit app. Right on the top, on the home page, you can see the steps, your sleep tracking, your heart rate data, your blood pressure data, blood oxygen levels, outdoor workouts. If you come to the second option, you can see that the watch is paired. You can see the battery percentage coming to watch faces. These are the watch faces that you can access directly from the watch. But here, right on the end, is from where you can download more. And there is quite a good collection available to download from here. And trust me, there's a lot. Coming back, you can choose from which apps you want notifications and from which apps you don't. Then there's alarms you can set from the app shutter camera shutter favorite contacts in others you can find device time format 12 hour 24 hour units continuous heart rate detection quick view drink water reminder heart rate warning weather psychological cycle reminder which is women's menstrual cycle tracking and then coming into the last option you can see your profiles you can also share data with google fit and i know that's something a lot of people look forward to so I'm not saying this is the best app, but yes, it's got really, really better. And the Darfit app works perfectly fine with the Crossbeats Ignite Spectra series. All right. So it comes down to this one question. What do you look for when you want to buy a good smartwatch? Let's see. AMOLED display? Check. Smooth user experience? Check. Phone calling feature? Check. High brightness display? Check. All the basic health monitoring features? Check. All the basic sports modes and workouts, check. You want to save music on your watch with Bluetooth earphone connectivity, check. The only thing this watch lacks is probably built-in GPS. Apart from that, these watches seal the deal for everyone. Now the Ignite Spectre is priced at $4,999, while the Plus variant where you can save music and TWS connectivity is priced at just $5,999. Now I think they are really, really well priced for what all they are offering. I'll leave the links for both these watches with all their color variants in the description. If you like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them all. Don't forget to like, share and really don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, cheers.